Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Paranormal News. On today's episode, we are going to be looking at an article from mirror.co.uk, and the title here is very interesting. Mum, which is mom in England, left feeling sick after spotting ghost girl in background of family photo. Mum of one, Alice Martin, says she's experienced unexplained events in her flat for years, and noticed a shadowy figure in the background of a family photo, which she says resembles a little girl. This article was written by Luke Matthews, and it was published August 15th, 2020. And here's the mom and her, and her little boy, I guess that is, looks like a little boy. A mum was left feeling sick after spotting a ghostly girl peering round the door of her son's bedroom in the background of a family photo. Alice Martin, who said she's dismissed unexplained events in her creepy flat for years, had been scrolling back through photos she had taken during lockdown when one detail caught her eye. The photo taken in April shows Alice smiling alongside her partner, Tom Brown, and son, Louie. Yes, yeah, so it was a little boy. But behind them, there appears to be a shadowy figure with long hair. Mum of one Alice was left with chills after looking at the snap, saying she could make out a defined facial shape and an object being held in her hand. And right here is the actual photo, and right here is the shadowy figure. Now, at the end of this article, there is a blown up version of this picture. So we'll be able to get a much better look at that shadowy figure. The 23-year-old immediately sent the image to her sister, adjusting the brightness on the photo for a better look and jumped when what she believes to be an eye came into focus. A self-confessed skeptic when it comes to the paranormal, Alice said she cannot explain the shape as there was no furniture or items hanging on the door where the figure appears. Her son Louis has always slept in his parents' room as he could never settle in the bedroom where the eerie figure is claimed to have appeared. And Alice is relieved to have now moved to a new home. The care assistant from Somerset said, I see a little girl with long hair holding something. It makes me feel on edge. I was saying to my partner that when I saw it, I got sick. It's not a nice thing. People are saying it looks like it's good and it's not there to harm me, but it puts me on edge a bit. Now, right here is a blown up section of that photo. And right here, obviously, is where the shadow figure is. So I'm going to leave that on the screen for a moment so you can really get a good look at it and see what you think. I'm not gonna bias you with my opinion right now. I'll give you my opinion at the end. But that is the photograph right there. I was looking over my pictures one night and was like, what's that? It caught my eye. I sent it to my sister asking what she thought of it. And I changed the brightness on my picture a little bit. That's when I could see the eye. The more my sister changed the filter on it, that's when you could really see it make the face. You can see the face and the hair. You can see the eye and the face shape. I tried to say to myself that it's just a shadow or something hanging on the door. But the more I look at it, the more I think, how is that that? It is strange. 
I was surprised by the responses we were getting. The other ghost photos I have seen, I've always said it's nothing. The majority of the people were saying that it's definitely something there. A lot of people were saying they felt stuff when they saw it. That's what I feel when I see it. It makes me feel a bit funny when I look at it. Alice says she's always felt a presence in the flat and claims her son's toys have even lit up on their own and the television once turned itself on in the middle of the night. Since the family have moved home, Louis has been happy to sleep in his own room for the first time. At the flat where that picture was taken, we weren't very happy, she said. We didn't want to stay there as we didn't really like it. Little stuff happened. I remember when I was pregnant, I didn't really sleep very well. I was laid in bed and my partner had gone to sleep, but I was awake. And I saw the telly turn on. I know my partner didn't leave it on, and it was really, really bright. I was thinking, oh my God. I woke my partner up and told him to go and turn the telly off. The only way you can turn the telly off is with the remote, and the remote was on the chair. That was a bit creepy. My son's toys would also just turn on. I always felt on edge there. I always felt like something was watching me. I would turn around and nothing was there. Since we had been living there, my son would not settle in his room at all. His room is the room where the figure is. He slept with us for two years. A lot of my family are shocked he sleeps so well here because of how bad he was in the flat. He would just cry in there, hysterically crying. Ever since we have been in our new house, he has settled perfectly in his new room with no issues at all. There must be something. It is that room. And that is the end of this article. Now, a couple of things I want to say real quick. Um, the television turning on. That happened to me many times in a house I lived in. It was very haunted. Also, the toys turning on and playing with themselves. That happened as well at a house that I lived in. We had a Super Nintendo. Because, as you know, I'm a, I'm a gamer. I love to play games. And the television turned on and the Super Nintendo would turn itself on at night and the games would play. And at first I would go down and turn the Nintendo off and turn the TV off, go back upstairs and go to bed. And about 10 minutes would go by and they would turn back on again. I'd go back down, I'd check the entire house, all the doors were locked, everybody was in bed asleep, snoring and all that. So I'd turn everything back off and I'd go back up to bed. And this would repeat multiple times every night. And eventually I just kind of let the ghost play with the Nintendo if they wanted to. They never broke anything, they never deleted my saves or anything like that. So I thought to hell with it. You can just play and have fun. So that's not unheard of. Having things turn themselves on. The other thing that I want to talk about is when she says that a lot of the people that commented on the photo were saying that they felt different things and all that when they, when they looked at the photo. Some would say it was good and, and it wasn't there to hurt them and others would say it wasn't. What I'd like to say about that is that happens all the time. Whenever we would put a photo up of something that we captured on an investigation or whenever a team that we knew would put something up, you would have all kinds of people that comment on the photo. And it, it never fails. There's always people that say that they can feel this presence when they look at it. And they can feel that it's good. And other people will say, I can feel that it's evil and all this. Now, I'm not saying psychics don't exist. So don't jump on me for this. But the majority of those people are full of crap. People like to pretend 
to have psychic gifts and all this kind of stuff because it makes them feel special. They want everybody to go, oh, you're so cool. Every time you put something up, you have these same people saying this crap over and over again. Not all of them can be real. Because you have some of them that are saying that this thing is good. And you have some of them that are saying this thing is evil. So one of them has to be wrong. One side has to be wrong. And I'm going to tell you that probably 95 or better percent of those people don't actually have any gifts. They're just full of crap. They just want to pretend because they're trying to make a living in the paranormal or whatever. And they're scamming people out of money to do readings and all this crap. Okay. Now, when I say that, I am not saying that there are no such thing as psychics. I'm not saying that. Your favorite psychic that you get readings from is full of crap. There are psychics out there that do readings that are 100% real. I know some of them. They are my friends. They have proven themselves to me. I had a couple psychics on our show who did readings of me and Old Boy. And they told us things live on the air that nobody knew, that weren't in the press anywhere that had never been reported in public, and they knew about them. So they proved that they are the real deal. I have several other people that I know and that I have worked with in the past and done interviews with and done shows with and stuff like that that are 100% real. So I'm not saying that that gift is fake. and I'm not saying that everybody who claims to have that gift is fake. But what I'm saying is not everybody's a psychic, not everybody's a damn empath. I'm so tired of hearing that too. Everybody doesn't have all of these gifts. Most of the people that say they do are lying. So just beware. A lot of times when they're lying, it's because they're trying to get money from you. Never pay money for a reading unless you know for sure that that person is the real deal. Just a bit of warning from me to you trying to look out for you. So with that being said, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate in the comments from a lot of these people who are pretending to be psychics. But I bet you I also get cheers from the real psychics who are actually doing the real job. Because I bet you they're even more tired of the fakes than I am. We'll see. But either way, that's the end of this article, and that's the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like and subscribe to the channel and all that. And I will see you on the next one. Until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.